So what's up guys, I just got these Atomic RC metal hubs. They're beautiful Atomic RC. If you haven't heard of them and you need some upgrades for your X-Max, definitely try them out because I've had them on the rear for about a few months now and they are bulletproof and they don't really stress the rear arms or the arms as much as you would think. They're pretty good. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install hubs and axle carriers. So let's get started. So there are two screws to get your, uh, I guess it's a hub, yeah, I guess it's a hub, or steering, steering block, whatever. There are two screws, there's one on, on the top, there's one on the bottom. So these pins are kind of hard to get out, so you gotta get some pliers and yank them out. <coughs> All right, so you got that out. Now you obviously want to take out this ring, slide this off, take out the ax the drive shaft, axle shaft. So I'm gonna put the camera down and do that. Then to get the entire thing off, you wanna take your steering arm off the hub. So here we go. It's a crazy long screw, so you're not gonna be having trouble finding that. So then this will just simply slide off and out of there and in this case it's not broken at all i just wanted to make it equal so if i'm jumping i don't have loads of weight on one side and not enough weight on the other side so it makes it tip so make sure to get your bearings out of there and for that you just push a screwdriver through and push the bearings out so i'm going to do that so now that you got your bearings out if they're a little bit greasy you might just want to wipe them off with a paper towel and then to get this carrier, or yeah, I guess it's a hub carrier off. There's just two screws, one here, one there in the front of your car. And your screws out, you want to get a 1.5 and push it through. There's a little push hole on the back. There we go. Come on. Oh, wow, that's hard. Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera. Big long pins out, you can just slide that out of there. And there's your hub, or axle carrier, whatever. Correct me in the comments, I don't care. So these have letters on them. The normal X Max ones also have letters on them to tell you where they go. It says right, this one says left, and the other one says right, obviously. So this, I, I there's nothing on this one to make sure. But there was on the other one, so I knew how to do it. So for this one, you kind of got to look how Traxxas actually puts these on. Because it's a little bit confusing. And I found it to be like this. It's kind of weird. So it's like this. Yeah, okay. Pins back in. I'm just going to put the screws back got in. Got your axle carrier on. By the way, these are beautifully machined. I mean, like, look at that. There's no flaws anywhere. The bearings fit perfectly as well. So then you just gotta clean off your bearings and put them in your hub. So since my Xbox is upside down, I put it on like this and it fits on perfectly. Those bearings fit in perfectly and they're working just fine. So you wanna remember to lock tight your stuff since it's going into metal. They give you screws for this. They give you pins for this, and they give you little covers that replace those plastic ones right there. So they're nice metal ones, and they're not gonna come off, because uh, on the other ones, I've had a little bit of a problem with them popping off sometimes, and it's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna put those on, and as I said, don't forget to Loctite your stuff. I recommend using this medium strain Loctite, or like, blue Loctite if you actually have real Loctite brand. That is just some hobby store stuff. So I'm gonna put this on and get back to you. And so, uh, yeah, put that in before you do all this. All right, well, uh, we're all on there and it feels good. It moves perfectly. Everything is Loctited. That's in, it moves all right. So now you just wanna put your steering thingy in. So don't forget to Loctite that as well. There is your beautiful, beautiful 
hubs and actually here let's see what they're actually called okay front knuckle okay there's the knuckles and there's c hub i don't know why it's called a c hub there's no c about it so all you have to do is put on your tire and you're good so i recommend keeping these pins obviously you don't want to lose them wait did i put that Oh, I put the pin on the wrong. I put the, the thing on. Oops, I was supposed to put this on first. <laughs> well, that's fine. So I'm. you obviously want to keep these. These You might lose these at any point, and you can still keep them. And these, the screws are pretty useful. These, uh, they're all right. But it, maybe if you scratch one up super bad or something like that, you can replace it. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.